What's up YouTube? It's Derek back again. I know it's been a minute since I've had one of these videos out. Uh, I've been pretty busy, but I want to get back to it. So I wanted to talk about what may be the most important habits you can start to implement or manage in your life. It's going to help in your professional life and also just your personal life too. They're just great things to implement, to live by, to use. So it's called the eight great work habits. In this video, I'm just gonna do the first four for you, just to break it down, make it pretty simple. And then I'm gonna do a part two for it too, just include the last four. So from the top, number one, the most important one, honestly, in anything you do, it's gonna be having and maintaining a great attitude. It's number one, guys. And honestly, it's just it speaks for itself, really. You can tell why it's so valuable to have. You know, you just think about it. Your, your best interviews, your best dates, your best performances, your best um, rehearsals, everything. You know, they all flow a lot nicer. They go a lot smoother when you're keeping that positive attitude, when you're just being a good vibe, pleasant to be around, so on and so forth. So, yeah. And definitely everyone loses their attitude from time to time. But they say the most successful people are the people that can just get back and, you know, maintain their attitude again after losing it. They recover the quickest. So it's a huge one to work on. And so also very important to note, think of it, it's it's a habit, it's a skill to develop, right? Just like working the muscles in the gym, you know, you may not be great at it, you may be pretty decent at it. Nevertheless, you can always get better at it, and it's something you can be mindful of and consistently work on. That's number one, guys. Number two is to show up on time. And this, guys, is so huge because showing up on time, one, it shows professionalism that, you know, you have your schedule in place, you you know you're good, you, you know where to show up to, when to show up to. And then two, it just shows respect for you know the gig the event the band whatever so on and so forth you know you're just respecting others time and you know their need for a place to be or whatever they're doing so all around you just want to make sure you're on time when you say you're going to be somewhere at a certain time be sure to be there and another thing too is to under promise but over deliver you know so if you have to be somewhere by seven o'clock p.m let's say say you're going to be there at 6 55 but again then over deliver show up at 6 45 you know what i mean so just be mindful of that being on time it's just a really good habit to develop number three is going to be be prepared and i feel like that kind of coordinates with being on time but they kind of intertwine that's that's so important guys because you just want to be prepared to whatever you do you just look so unprofessional like imagine showing up to a gig you don't have your drumsticks your, your sole purpose is to play the drums for that gig and you don't have your drumsticks just imagine how you're per perceived as a person you know what i mean like good luck getting another gig and from that band or from that venue what have it so it's just so important to, to take note, have a schedule in place, and to be prepared for what it is you're doing. It just makes you look that much better for for the gig, for the band, you know, what have you, whatever you're doing. And then the fourth one, guys, to wrap this first video up, is going to be working a full day. So what do I mean by that? You know, if you think of like your nine to five, that means being clocked in, being set to work at nine o'clock and not leaving, not slacking off, not clocking out in your mind, you know, being there, being intentional the full day till 5 p.m. or longer, depending on what it is you're doing and, and what's required of you. So I transfer that over to the gig world. Again, it kind of correlates with being on time, right? But when you know the gig starts at 6 o'clock, let's say it's uh, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., right? And you know you're playing from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. 
let's just say it's like a, a wedding gig, right? So you're playing those full four hours. You know when to be there, being on time, right? You know, to be there early, set up, X, Y, and Z. And working a full day means, you know, not cutting any slack. You don't you don't start playing the tunes, like start coming in at 6.05 or 6.10 or whatever. Like, you know the music's supposed to start at 6. You know it's supposed to go to 10. And correlating, too, with that under-promise, over-deliver, when, when you play that full set, play that full amount of time, you know, what, what people are paying for, paying to see you play, or, you know, if people are coming to your show, it's it's a gig at a club, whatever, and, and you fill that full amount of space, and you're being intentional with it, and, and you're working that full day, people really see that, people respect that, you know, people know you mean business, and also that you love your craft, too, right? Like, if you have the opportunity to play somewhere, you're getting that chance to, you know, play with your band or play a wedding gig or, or whatever, you, you want to honor that opportunity, you know, to just use up the time you have and and show that, you know, you're intentional with being there, with, with working a full day with it. So those first four guys for you, again, they really translate to no matter what you're doing. I just think they're, they're great habits to implement in life in general. It doesn't have to be just your job, but, you know, um, wherever you find yourself in life, they're, they're just good habits that really build discipline and, and overall, I think, just make you a better person altogether. So that's all I got for this video. I'll be back with a second video to, to wrap up the rest of them. Um, if you enjoyed this guys be sure to like subscribe down below help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers which is you know the next milestone for me and then also feel free to leave any kind of comment critique whatever um, stuff you want to see in the, the future um, stuff I may have left out or whatnot so I appreciate it guys thank you until next time